Okay. Here we are Monday, and we know we have a small class, but we have to keep moving forward. So we're going to look at, we're going to move into geometry. But this time with the geometry, we're going to look into not just solving the equation, but rearranging equations to solve for different things. So, for example, we have a distance formula right here. So distance equals speed, speed times time. Okay. But it asks us to solve for t instead of we're solving for d right now. All right. So currently we have distance equals speed time, speed times time. But now we want to solve for t. So we need to move the s over and isolate the t. So we know this s right here is a multiplication. So when we move it over, it's going to become a divide. Okay. So our next Part is we're going to move it over. It's going to be distance divided by speed equals time. Right? So all the way through this, we're going to have to work on our inverse operations. Okay, which just the same as saying opposite op opposite uh, operations. Okay. So let's take a look here. Uh, v equals u plus a t, and we want to solve for the t. V equals u plus a t. So the first thing I want to do is move this over here first. Okay, over here it's a plus. When it comes over, it's going to become a minus. All right, so that's going to equal v minus u equals a t. Then we have at here, and we just want the a by itself. I mean the t by itself. So we're going to move this over. And what is it over here? It is a multiply, so it moves over, it's going to become a divide. So my last line is going to be v minus u, which we had before, divided by a equals t. Remember your inverse operation. So we're just, every time it crosses the equal sign, it is the opposite item. Right. So our last one. It's a pretty easy day today. Although we're doing two lessons today. Our last one here, we have to solve for h. Now if you look here, h is in this big jumble of everything. So it's going to be pretty hard to separate. But let's do one thing first. Let's clear out this bottom here first. And move this 3 over to the other side. And if we take a look here, the 3 is currently a divide. And the inverse of the opposite operation is for when it moves across that equal sign, is become a multiply. So let's move it over and we're going to end up with 3v equals pi r squared h. So now we have to go, okay, we have to, we want the h all by itself, so we need to move these two things. So what is this right now? What's this really say? Pi r squared h. Well, if you need to plug that in your calculator, you would say, okay, pi times r squared times h. So that tells me right now they're all multiplied. So if I move them over, they're going to become a divide, right? Multiply on one side, the opposite operation, divide. So my next line, I have 3v over here already. Now this is coming over becoming a divide, so that's going to equal pi r squared equals h. And there we have it. We've isolated h all by itself. So we have to concentrate on inverse operations, right? And the other item here is the item you move first. Is the items that are not directly attached to your variable you're looking to solve for. For example, up here, it's u plus at, so we move the u over first. This one here, it was pi r squared times h 
divided by 3. So 3 is still attached, but not as closely related as these two, so we move it over. And it just makes little things easier. My last example here is use the formula for example 1 to find how long it would take to travel 520 kilometers if you drive 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, so what was the formula, the original formula? Distance equals speed over time. Distance equals speed times time. Now if I was doing this question, I would write out everything I know, everything I could know. <coughs> and then fill in what I have. So I have 520 kilometers, so I can put that right there. I have 80 kilometers an hour, which is my speed. So that really tells me what I need to find. So I'm going to isolate, so I'm going to move this over, it's going to become a divide, divided by S equals T, and then I can plug in my numbers. 520 divided by 80 equals T. 20 divided by 80 equals 6.5. 6.5. Then to get my full marks, I could write a little therefore statement. Therefore, it would take 6.5 hours to drive 520 kilometers. Perfect. So that is half of today's lesson.